Hey everyone, this is Theo from Parkerblocks.com. Welcome to another book review. Today I'm going to show you this book called Drawing in Black and White. The author of this book is Deborah Velaquest. This is a paperback book with 112 pages with additional colored paper at the back. So let's take a look at what's inside. The goal of the book is to let you be familiar with black and white media, things like pens, brushes, how you can use black ink, or even white gel pen or white paint to create black and white art. Basically to draw and have fun. So this book starts out with all the tools that you can use. Some are actually calligraphy pens, markers, brush pens, technical pens. There are a lot of exercises inside. So the exercises are simple and easy to follow along. I mean, things like this, these are pretty easy to draw. Basically, it's just to have fun and practice some of the techniques that are taught. So you can get to create different types of art, different styles using different tools. This is a pretty fun book for beginners. No knowledge of drawing is required. Now there aren't any highly detailed or exquisite pieces of art. Even for the more detailed pieces, I think beginners should have no problems following along. So all these artworks, they are actually quite loose. There are also step-by-step -step instructions and also prompts on how you can explore further using the tools or the techniques that are explained, that are introduced. So sometimes you get to draw on white paper, sometimes you actually draw on black paper. So you do need to have the appropriate tool in advance before you can actually follow up along with the lessons. This is quite beautiful. Now what's missing in this book is actually a lesson that talks specifically about tonal values like different tones, how they actually work against one another, the different shades, the intricacy of those. Sometimes I think that the book it doesn't explain very well even though you can see that black and white they have very good contrast or black and grey they, they still have good contrast but Sometimes it needs a bit more explanation when it comes to talking about values and contrast and how they actually work and how to best make use of them. So in this uh, few exercises, these are actually collage exercises or paper art where you can cut out different shapes, cut out paper like newspaper. or cut out the paper to use as stencils. I'm not sure if you can hear the thunder. It's going to rain very soon. All right, let me just quickly flip through to the back. These are the gallery pages with examples. And that's all. You can practice on the blank pages at the back. These are all colored pages. If you need white paper, then you need to get them on your own. Oops, I think the binding for this book is not fantastic. This cover has detached from the last page of this book, but that's really not a big deal. I'm going to maybe use some glue to paste it back later on. Overall, this is a pretty fun book for beginners. You can learn more about composition, balance and harmony. You can also learn how to draw with positive shape thinking or negative shape thinking. This is very accessible. The lessons, they are not very technical. Anyway, I'm going to end here because it's starting to rain and the thunder is quite loud. So thanks for watching today's video. I hope this is helpful. See you in the next one. Bye.